<laughs> I wanted to see if I could do it one handed. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Brett, we were having a, a discussion earlier about which bike would be easier at TKO? Is it Ultra B? Is it Light B? Yep, I, after TKO, I was pretty confident that my modified Light B I could have done better on. Just because it was nimble, it's, you know, not that power is necessarily a thing, but suspension, like, EXT has done such a good job, I could tune it so good for those trails if I wanted to, so. Plus you got the lightweight, so if you drop your bike, pick it up easily, get it over an obstacle. Exactly. Right? So. We'll see. Um, we'll see how much you like a light be on the trail today. I, I'm riding your beauty. So. Yep. so my bike was set up for TKO, gummy tires, soft suspension. Uh, you're going to be fine. And I'm going to risk it all on my light B. I'm going to see how well I can do because I've been riding that quite a bit. Yep. So you're and... definitely going to have to tell me if you think that on this technical stuff, you like the light B more than you'd like this. Yeah, so to find a trail technical enough to be like TKO, we're at five miles of hell. Yep. Ever ridden it? Never ridden it. Me either. We're also going to compare these two bikes against Brian on his KTM 300. 2022 KTM 300. Love this bike. So, five miles of hell. This is a bucket list ride for a lot of people. Like, people come out from all over the world to ride this trail, so... First time, first time, first time. This is gonna be awesome. I don't think we have to worry about range, but we're probably gonna push it. This trail is how long? It's called five miles of hell, but technically it's like seven and a half. And then we've got connector trails to get to it. So total, we're about 20 miles today. Which is well within range of electric bikes. Yeah, yeah. So Especially with an upgraded battery. Yep, definitely. Okay. Well. Should we, uh, should we get away from this smoker? I think we should. Okay. Are you warmed up? Uh, let me see. Oh shit, guys. I, I gotta oh, warm yeah. up my bike. Just give me a minute, okay? Yeah, okay. All right. Sounds if good. You catch up to us, maybe. Oh, so this is a, just a bunch of gas bike parts, it looks like. I don't see <laughs> anything from an electric bike there. That's a, that's a crank. That's a timing chain. There's I a wonder. piston in there. Yeah. A couple of plastics. Yeah, a lot of plastics. There's a hand guard. Man. Huh. And is there any extra batteries in there when you guys run out of battery? Nope, that all looks good. I think we're within range. We should be we should be good to go. Yeah. How far into the trail are we? So we're four and a half miles from the trailhead to the here where we're about to get on five miles of hell. So that was a warm up. The real trail begins now. Okay, Dude. so four and a half out of twenty. Yeah. Okay. That went uh, pretty fast. Uh, I don't think this is gonna go that fast. Nope. Yeah, Brett, I'm at ninety five percent. What are you? I'm at ninety three. All right, so it's about to get real. Is a big KTM 300, which is one of the best bikes in the world, gonna be better on five miles of hell, a hard enduro, extreme enduro, whatever you wanna call it, trail, or is an Ultra B or a Light B? Like, I honestly don't know, because when I did TKO a year ago, I finished and I thought to myself, there's no way I could have done my 300 on that trail. I would have exceeded the two hour time limit um i just physically did not have it in me to finish tko on a big heavy gas bike um so it made me very happy to be on electric and i don't know what it's going to be like today all right we're just starting five miles of hell let's see how rough and rocky this is brian's already talking about obstacles so i'm going to go around everything that i can The one thing they're not having to do is manage a clutch. I ha I'm gonna have my finger on the clutch the entire time. Right now my clutch is halfway out. I just let it all the way out just now. But I'm gonna be using the clutch the entire time. And that's what gives an electric bike such a big advantage. Because you're not having to you're not having to think about the clutch. You know, you just twist the throttle and you go. I'm using a lot of clutch. I'm in first gear. This is a relatively steep hill. 
so I'm using the clutch in and out so I don't stall play. So this is one of the sections that everybody films because you literally can't even see the trail. Um, you turn, you go up to that ledge, and then you got to make a left and go. Wait, it goes up? Yeah, so uh, I'll try not to drop my bike. It might be a little tricky on a big bike. Sure. Now I'm going to turn around. That's the easy way to do it, I guess. All right, let's see if we can make a new line. Oh, you gotta love gummies with ultra plush moose tubes. Traction all day long. What do you think? You gonna take the Brett line or the normal line? The Brett line's not a good idea. We'll see about the rest of it. This uh, KO has no torque on the bottom. Weird. Oh yeah. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Yeah. I think that's actually the worst obstacle up here. Yeah, well, there's more. There's a ledge that we can uh, either go straight up or go around. We'll find that one of these d turns. So far, this is not bad. Yeah. Beautiful up here. Yeah. Oh, please tell me Brian's struggling on the dirt bike. That, uh, not that I wish him ill will, but we all know how good the 300 is, and Brian's a really good rider, so... Crap. I went the wrong way to do that ledge. Alright, let's see if I can do a Meg's wrap. I got my foot up on the ledge. That's something that uh, you'd learn in a Meg's wrap clinic. Except now I need to wait my rear end and get traction. So let's see if we can do this. <laughs> Did it. All right, I'm hearing some clutch. Careful if you roll back, you're going down a ledge. Uh, yeah, you can just come down and play around because why not, right? I'm, uh, I'm curious what's going on with this. I mean, Brian's a competent rider. 300s are good bikes, right? There it is. Alright, well that was more like it. Well, that got me breathing a little bit. Yeah, first obstacle. Well, another obstacle. I had a bad line and nailed that that uh, second lip, ah. and it just killed my momentum. Had to do it again. Let's keep on keeping on. All right. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna make him turn around and be so surprised that I'm behind him. Let's see if I can actually do that. Well, he just took off.
know if I took the right line just now. Probably not. I'm just climbing just to climb, it looks like. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not that bad. I just take it an angle. You want to get it? Oh my gosh, that bike links thing so easy. So gummy, so good. He made that look so easy. He went up like a four foot ledge just now. Yeah, you know, in this terrain, I do have the best bike. The Ultra V with gummies is a total cheater bike. We'll take the same line as Brett. I think I could beat that 42 minute mark on this bike. Well, we'll ride it a few times next year and then we can time it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that's a cliff. Yeah, it is. Hey, Brett, check out these dirt bike problems. DJ man, come on. You made me dent my pipe. I took the wrong line. I thought I'd go up and over, be all fancy, and it dropped off. Oh well. <laughs> uh, important note, the trail comes down right here. Looks like it goes down into that gully, but there's a white little turn painted on the rock telling you to not go down there to come up here. Okay, momentum. Holy hell. Oh shit, almost. So close. Wow. Thought I had that, my tire, front tire split off the edge. Oh, we got a honk. Oh man, looks like Brian's holding him up. Come on! What is this, a traffic jam? Oh, that was a front end twist that I hate so much. Just non-stop clutch. Yeah. Uh, it needs to be geared down lower for this kind of stuff. Mm. I'm in first the whole time. Mm. That section is gonna be rough on Brian. This section is gonna be rough on me. Oh. Are you breathing heavy? Because I am. Yeah, but I can pick my bike up and put it over obstacles pretty easy. I, uh, I'm definitely hot and uh, breathing and heart rate elevated. <laughs> I'm working it. I just took my goggles off to get some airflow. Something I rarely do. I really only do it when we're doing slow and this kind of stuff. Oh, you wishing you had a gummy. Yeah.
This is why we didn't do the light bees at uh, TKO, because we couldn't put an 18-inch gummy on it and fit. Oh man, that's not very nice. Did I get you? Well, this is very, very much like TKO. This is one of the gnarliest lines. This is going to be uh, interesting to see how I do. I uh, yeah, wish me luck. That's a whole bunch of dirt bike parts in that tree. Not electric bike parts. That's weird. Okay, I made it up the cliff. Let me get my leg up. Okay, there you go. Hang on. You ready? There you go. Okay, well, how's that for. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, so again, score a point for the lightweight bike. Exactly. If I don't make it, I can just walk the bike up. Oh! Cut it off. Damn. Uh, it's on your left shroud. All right, I got it up there. Lift it up. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, my boot's stuck. All right. That's a full pivot. <laughs> Cleaned it. That's kind of looking like my pipe after what I just did. Radiator. There's Brett's goggles. He's been complaining about they're making his face itch. Oh man, got a hole through a radiator? Yep. Man, it's brutal on these bikes. It looks like a bunch of KTM parts too. I do see a lot of orange. Yep. I got all the orange bits still on my bike. You, you made it. <laughs>
make her angry. Dang. That's gnarly. All right, we're just about all the way through this trail. How are you boys feeling? It is a workout, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like, the weight of this bike uh, and maneuvering it through these super slow sections and having to use the clutch almost the entire time, my hand is almost frozen. Like, uh, I'm having a hard time with that. If I did this again on the KTM, I would have to do a gummy with a moose like you're running, ultra yep. sl uh, low pressure. Because the couple places I've messed up, it's all because I just lack traction. I spun when I went in it and it turns the bike and then it messes you up for your line. So I, I would definitely do a gummy uh, next time. Yeah, makes sense. And then this is the XC uh, KTM, which is meant for like desert and higher speeds. It's geared too high. So my first gear is it's a little bit of a struggle when we're tiptoeing through. I'm having to use the clutch the whole time and it's kind of like this. Mm because it's a, it, the RPMs are too low. Yeah, so if you were on a properly geared bike with a gummy tire, you'd probably do pretty solid on this trail. Yeah, it'd be easier. Uh, I mean, I'm doing all right. Uh, I should be in better shape to do this trail. <laughs> yeah, I'm impressed. This bike is, it's a cakewalk, that's for sure. I mean, I don't like the suspension. I, I've always struggled with the suspension on this. It twists, it deflects, It's it's got its problems. Yeah. But I mean, the gummy tires make up for most of those problems and I can just mosey around anything I want to and have traction and be good, so. Yeah, it's like a billy goat. Yeah. Some of the stuff you just crawl right up it. Yeah. How's that bike? You know, honestly, better than I thought it would be. Really? So, yeah. Now it's mostly because we lowered the tire pressure to 12. We lowered my uh, suspension pressure, so it's soft enough. Um, I'm geared too low. We put a 54 on and I was used to a 58 or 60 up to two days ago. Um, it's light enough to just pick it up whenever I need to, but same as you, motocross tire, way too hard on the rear. When it spins, it's gone. Yeah. Like just completely. But big difference in 1821 over the 1619s that we raced at TKO. Going downhill especially, you can just mountain bike right down the whole thing. So let's say 1619 you had gummies and you couldn't do gummies on 1821s. What would you do? What would you take? That's really tough. I don't know because these do roll over the big rocks way easier. Yeah. And that's kind of a benefit because if you can get any momentum, you just skip across the top. Yeah. I think the best compromise would be a Shinko three and a half by 18 in the rear trials type. Yeah, it could be uh would be the closest you could do on, on that bike yeah and then that would be killer except for the sand it would be awesome in here there's only a few sand sections but you're right that's a little bit more like the uh what like the uh ktm free ride came yeah or the had that big trials bike or the electric motions okay yep. yeah how are you doing energy wise as far as how you feel and, and compared to how you think you should feel on this trail no i, I feel pretty good actually <laughs> I don't. I, I'm not as I'm not as beat up as I thought I would be. I mean, I'm getting tired, but managing the, this big heavy bike and the clutch yeah. and gears, it's uh, I'm I'm beat. <laughs>